So let me just recap the steps that you're going to use to solve, um, to find the second solution to a second order homogeneous differential equation if you know one solution. And so we're going to let y1 be the solution we know, and this is the form of the differential equation. And the first step is to assume that the second solution that you're trying to find, y2, is equal to the known solution y1 times the unknown function u. We then want to try to find out what u is. The first step in doing that is to calculate y2 prime and y2 double prime, and then you're going to substitute y2, y2 prime, and y2 double prime into the original differential equation in an attempt to find out what u is. The next step is to, once you've substituted y2 in and its derivatives, is to collect the terms involving u double prime and factor the u double prime out, collect the terms involving u prime, factor the u prime out, and also collect the terms involving u. Note that the coefficient of u should always turn out to be zero. If it doesn't, then you made a mistake somewhere in your derivatives and you need to go back and fix that. Once you've done that and the u drops out, you're going to make the substitution w equals u prime and w prime equals u double prime, and you will actually end up with a first order differential equation in w. This differential equation will either be separable or first order linear, so you can um, solve that differential equation for the function w. Finally, you want to get u, so you need to substitute u prime in for w, and then solve for u. And finally, once you get u, your second solution, y2, is going to equal y1, your known solution that you started with times the u that you just found. So let me also show you why this works. In particular, why does the coefficient of u always turn out to be zero? So let's start with a generic differential, uh, second order linear homogeneous differential equation. And normally they look like a2 of x, y double prime plus a1 of x, y prime plus a0, sorry this should be y prime, a0 of x, y equals 0. If we divide everything through by this lead coefficient, a2, of x, what we will get is um, y double prime plus, I'm going to call a1 of x over a2 of x, a new function p of x times y prime plus a0 over a2 is going to be q of x, y, and this all equals 0. So let me assume that y1 is a known solution. this differential equation. So if it's a solution, then we do need to keep in mind that y1 double prime plus p of x, y1 prime plus q of x, y1 equals 0, because y1 is a solution. It will satisfy this differential equation. We now um, let the y2, the solution we're trying to find, be equal to the known solution y1 times an unknown function u. Now let's try and find u by taking the derivatives of y2 and plugging them back into the differential equation in star. And what we're going to do is we're going to find out that when we substitute these y2 and its derivatives back in, that the term involving u is going to always drop out. So y2 prime, using the product rule, is y1 prime times u plus y1 times u prime. y2 double prime is equal to y1 double prime using the product rule times u plus y1 prime times u prime. The product rule on the second term is going to give me y1 prime times u prime plus y1 times u double prime. Simplifying the second derivative, I get y1 double prime u plus, I have two u prime y1 primes plus y1 u double prime. Now when I substitute um, back into the differential equation in star, first I get y2 double prime, so that's y1 double prime u plus 2 u prime y1 prime plus y1 u double prime plus p of x times y2 prime, so y2 prime is y1 prime u 
plus y1 u prime plus, and then I need q of x times, uh, this should be y2, which is going to be y1 u, and that should all equal 0. So I'm going to take this last different, this last equation as a differential equation and group my terms involving u double prime, u prime, and u. So let me just leave that last line there so I can do that grouping. Okay, the only term involving u double prime is here, so I get y1 u double prime plus. Let me next handle the terms involving u prime. That would be this one. So if I factor out the u prime, I'm left, left with a 2y1 prime. If I find any other terms involving u prime, there is a term involving u prime here, and the coefficient of u prime is going to be p of x times y1. So I get p of x, y1, and that is the only other term involving u prime. Next, we collect together the terms involving u and factor the u out. The first term involves u. Let me circle that one. So y1 double prime. That's, uh, if we factor the u out, that's what's left. This next term, circle so here, involves u. So when I distribute, the coefficient is p of x, y1 prime. So I get plus p of x, y1 prime. And then the last term involving u is this q of x times y1 times u. So plus q of x times y1. And the coefficient u, the u is factored out. And all of this equals zero. So something really nice happens if you're really observant here. And remember that y1 is a solution of our original differential equation. This is uh, this last expression next to u, u times uh, y1 double prime plus p of x y1 prime plus q of x y1. This is exactly the original differential equation with y1 substituted into it. And because that was homogeneous, this whole expression is going to equal zero. Let me write it here, that's a little messy, but that whole expression is zero. So we end up with this y1 u double prime plus u prime times 2y1 prime plus p of x y1 equals 0 because this is u times 0. And so this is where you get the reduction of order. Notice that the term involving u has dropped out and then you can make the substitution w equals u prime and w prime equals u double prime. So you get an, a differential equation that is now first order linear in w. So again we have y1 w prime plus w times 2y1 prime plus p of x y1 equals 0. And because y1 is a known solution, it's a known function of x, this is a differential equation that is either separable or it's first order linear in w. And then we can proceed to solve it to get a general form for the solution. But we actually want to work through it each time. I just wanted to justify for you why this term involving u will always drop out. And it's because y1 is a solution of the original differential equation.